Welcome to our video developer diary dedicated to our upcoming title, King Arthur II The Role-Playing War Game. In this first installment, we're going to talk about the setting of the game, our mystical Britannia, and how it has changed since the events of King Arthur. King Arthur II is both a sequel and a standalone game. It's set in roughly the same world as King Arthur, but it's not the well-known campaign map all over again. Far from it. Britannia has changed a lot since we were lost there. Additionally, the area that you can explore has become larger, darker, more dangerous, and at the same time, more beautiful. The game is set in a world where the king has already united the war-torn kingdoms and finally peace and prosperity have returned to Britannia. That's where the tales of chivalry end, and we'll tell you what comes next. What happens when a mystical catastrophe turns the formerly prosperous realm into a twisted nightmare? Our new version of Britannia reflects these changes, and we've also added much more. First of all, this time we have a significantly larger campaign map. It's twice as big as the area you could explore in King Arthur. The game world now incorporates everything from Cornwall to the northernmost corner of the land. We've made plenty of big changes to the campaign map, although its basic function remains the same. You manage your kingdom, send your heroes out to explore, go on adventures and gather armies. And yes, they fight real-time battles on the battle maps. These maps represent the various regions of Britannia, so you can expect to see plenty of variety on the battlefields too. Let's take a look at one of the new maps from King Arthur 2. The landscape plays a very important role in battles, just like it did in King Arthur. To decide on a winning strategy, you'll have to take into consideration the topography of the land, the hills, valleys or forests. There are also plenty of especially important locations on the map, and these look really fabulous. As you can see, the battlefields have also gone through a huge transformation. They now have more detailed graphics, and we've done everything we can to capture the dark mood of the game. We wanted to create the right atmosphere, and the enhanced graphics engine helped us to do just that, allowing us to conjure up swirling mists, savage weather conditions and awesome magical effects. But battle maps are useless without armies, right? In King Arthur 2, there will be plenty of new units that will look even more spectacular than in King Arthur because these units are being created with even more focus on the details. And that's absolutely true about the heroes as well. Our new protagonists are still majestic warriors, but they are more dangerous, more intimidating, and altogether more adapted to survive in the coming Dark Age. They use their deadly powers to destroy the twisted and evil creatures that are swarming all over the wounded land of Britannia. Your task is to defeat these monstrosities once and for all. Rule your destiny once again.